And we are back in the air after lockdown. We were given the green light to fly on Friday the 15th of May, which meant that uh, Saturday, well, lots of people were at Nayland and we were all keen to get back into the air again. Gary's cub was reluctant to start, but uh, John got it going in the end. There goes Chris. Chris is on the move. Duncan's on the move. There goes Chris. Are you there, Duncan? No. I really need to do my engine run up by the hedge, don't I? You'll be alright. Swing it round. I'll come forward a bit. Well, because Duncan, sorry, I was busy. Are you going to follow me up? Yeah, I'll follow you up. If we're good to make a, um, a quick trip over my house when we are airborne, because she'll be looking for us. OK, shall do. Bastard. Can't be. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Tick the like, share with anybody you think might be interested, and please leave me a comment. Okay, with you. And we are back in the air after lockdown. I know the uh, message came out yesterday and a lot of people did fly but uh, I got other bits and pieces I needed to do so I took the first opportunity as you'll probably see most of the people at Mayland have done so we've had quite a few aircraft on the go but keeping social distance from everybody although we had to work together well John did most of it um, helping Gary to get his machine going um, but he got his cub going so he'll be flying very shortly thought that was an aircraft right in front of us now but it's not, it's a buzzard I think it's a buzzard rather than the kite yes but the strip is looking quite nicely now we cut it. Oh, I think it was last week. Not really in preparation, but we have to keep it fairly short because if not, the gang mower can't cope. 
because what you do is you cut it and then it burns off. Uh, Gary's just lifted off. Um, John is on our left hand wing tip. 1,000 feet. So fuel pump is coming off. I think you'll probably find that there'll be quite a bit of silence. Sort of lost for words, really. Not really lost for words, but just enjoying being back in the air. I'm going to have to think twice about where I'm going. Well, I know, I know where I'm going roughly, but... Uh, John doing top cover. Believe it or not, I'm going here by car. Well, I'm driving by car down here, so yeah, we're... Sue's at the back door. Keeping an eye out for a yellow cup. Interesting little side sweep there. What I would just say to everybody is, um, for a lot of you, thank you very much for continuing to support the channel during lockdown. I've um, tried to find some sort of content for you each week. I've had to revert back to some lookbooks because there was no more flying to do. Um, I tried to make it interesting, tried to make it different. Uh, also included, um, as I've said before, for my children and grandchildren, a little bit about what life's been like for us in lockdown. Um, bits and pieces we've been getting on with. Uh, lots of people were interested in Dad's 90th birthday and his victory in Europe um, piece. He was very, very impressed to think that he'd got birthday greetings from what was effectively all around the world. So for those people who, who did contribute to that, thank you very much. And back over the top of the airfield now. Yeah, grass is looking okay. back a little bit. It is cloudy, but it's not actually any, an unpleasant day. One of the things that I've got to do as a result of coming over today, and I, and I think you probably picked up from the fact that because we have been trying to stick to lockdown and only really doing the trip to Dad's and back because of the horses, um, we haven't come over very much. As I say, there's been a couple of 
what I deemed was essential runway maintenance trips. What I will do is I will just go and give Dad a flyby. I know it's something that we do fairly frequently on here, but I'm sure you uh, can see why I might want to do that. I mean, look down there at Boxstead. That was a very nice fly-in last year. I know I featured it again um, in last week's one, where I was just talking about how strange it seemed to be with people um, in lockdown now and, and social distancing and comparing it to what it used to be. Um, it's nice to think that we're now flying again. It, you know, I'm really pleased about that. And it, it happened lunchtime on Friday when... There goes, John. Um, when the um, notification came out that it was um, OK to fly. Um, and, yeah, it is nice to fly. It's got to be solo. It's, or somebody from the uh, household in with you. Um, but apart from that, then I believe it's, you can go anywhere as long as the place you're going to is prepared uh, to accommodate you. I know lots of airfields have had to go through strict cleansing and the like. Um, but I think the point I tried to make on that one was the fact that even if now we have got this OK to fly, I think it's going to be some time before we get into that same situation with, you know, queues for barbecues and the like. But I'm sure people are clever enough to come up with other suggestions as to how that might be worked. But I think I, yeah, I, I went off on a tangent. Because I hadn't been coming over, you don't check on the plane as regularly as uh, you used to do. And I noticed that there was a puddle of fuel. Uh, I know I'd left it full, because we tend to leave it full so as to uh, not get too much condensation in the tanks. But I noticed this fuel was there. My first assumption was that I'd overfilled it. And as it had heated up, the expansion had caused it to flow out through the overflow. But um, today, I noticed that there was a lot of fuel missed. Well, a lot. There was quite a bit of fuel missing, probably about four, five litres. Um, and when I look closely, you've got the gas escalator, and next door to the gas escalator, you've got a front tank drain valve. Um, and that had got just a, a drop of fuel. There's a seagull up there, just if you wondered what I was looking for. Um, and I think I need to look at that. Um, I'm looking at the watch because I know that I'm not going to be in the air for too long. But that is a task for the week to uh, to have a look at that. I have done the spats, but I haven't fitted them uh, purely because it's about three weeks' time before uh, I start the permit and there's no point in putting them on because they are a bit of a pain to put on and then having to take them off again see if dad is working in his garden have a look at Mark's new patio and the lawn he's been working on. Looking very nice.
going over the top of my house. See if Karen got back. See if she did. Yeah, cars in the drive. You definitely can see where Brighton Sea used to be an island. With this creek here, we're running along the channel at the back there and joining up with that creek up the top there. Don't know whether it will show on the cameras, but you got that one, and then you got the one ahead. I must admit, I turned the cameras off and simply enjoyed my flying for a little while. Mainland traffic, Gulf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is approaching the overhead at Mainland traffic. Juliet Bravo, short final on Mainland. I can see him. John is just over the hedge and he's just on the runway now. I don't know whether that will pick it up. None of the crops. None of the crops look particularly good at the moment. I think it's a bad growing year. Well, I'll see it now. Uh, but thank you for flying with me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, put the. Uh, tick in the thumbs up, share with anybody you think might be interested, leave me a comment, please leave me a comment, nice to read them, um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, it does make a big difference to us as to how those numbers go, although having said that, um, I think if I was into subscriber numbers I would have finished ages ago, I just enjoy what I'm doing, and for those people who do enjoy watching me, and listening to me. Well then, thank you for your continued support. Mail and traffic, Gulf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, final mail and traffic. White arc, air breakdown, change of trim. Long time since I've landed with an audience at the top of the hill. They're all social distancing. Remember the rabbits.